Welcome to part two of my Minecraft Hack Client tutorial series. Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to make your custom GUI a bit better. If you missed the tutorial number one, uh, there will be a link in the description to the last tutorial with drop boxes and everything you need to uh, get set up to this point. Now there probably will not be that many drop boxes anymore uh, from this point on. So make sure you get that Dropbox in there as soon as possible. Now that we have uh, everything done, you guys should know uh, public static strings and ints. We learned that yesterday, or whatever day you learned it. And we learned that you can draw GUIs uh, without actually going to GUI in game. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make it so that your keyboard, key, key states, whatever you call it, whatever key you hit, you know, the key that you hit, like you know, like for like if you want to enable like Fulbright, you would hit like C or X or whatever you put for Fulbright. Well, today I'm gonna show you how to use custom keybinds uh, easy uh, easily without actually using like, check keys or anything else. So go into GUI in game uh, right now, if I can find it. <laughs> All right, so go into GUI in game. Right, as you can see, I don't have check key enabled or I don't have check keys anywhere. Right, so we're gonna scroll down until we find this uh, little big huge thing right here. Right, all the way under GL the pop matrix, we have I put an else statement right here, and all of this right here. Right. So I don't have check keys enabled, but I'm actually using keys to enable something. So how to use it? Um, basically, all you have to do is just use it the same way you always did for check keys, but you're just gonna call it a little bit differently. All I do is put if keyboard dot uh, keyboard dot is key down, right? Right, and then I'm just gonna put keyboard dot key underscore, and I'm gonna use like I don't know X for uh, for just to enable a hack like X-ray or something. I don't know. I'm going to put full bright for right now. And that's how you would use it, right? Just like any other check keys. Um, so I hope this tutorial helped. Uh, this is a really quick tutorial, only like, I don't know, like two minutes long. <laughs> um, so yeah, um, so you just use these uh, kind of keyboard type things. It makes it a lot easier to actually uh, import your hacks and everything else. And uh, yeah, not even importing your hacks, actually use your hacks. But yeah, so this is how you you use your hacks. I hope you got this tutorial helped. If they did, please give it a like. And tutorial number three will be coming soon. And just make sure to leave a comment below of what tutorial you want me to want me to show you guys next. And for right now, enjoy. <laughs>